by Harbinger, the four-year-old, the improving horse. The only horse to have won the Hardwick, and this was Doyen. Could Harbinger follow in his footsteps? Olivier Pellier riding for Sir Michael. And to become the fifth, 16th derby winner to go on to victory in the King George. There's Ryan Moore, Oliver, Oliver. saddled with the responsibility of guiding the favourite to victory. That's it, they're locked away, set to go. And they're racing, and away to a good start too on the outside. Confront is the first to begin. Goes on in the early stages by two lengths to Cape Blanco, the inside. Right in the centre is Harbinger, then follows uh, Workforce, the outside. Pink cap, Daria Kana settles second last and three or four lengths to Hume Zane. Going through the first furlong and a half, and the pacemaker doing his job well here. Confront crosses over to the inside rail to lead by two lengths to in second place Workforce up on the outer. Then Cape Blanco tucked away, followed then by Harbinger and Daria Kana, and uh, they were nicely clear of Hume Zane as they all the time running down to Swindley Bottom now in the King George. On the inside, still the leader is Confront, out in front by a length. Workforce has settled into a nice racing rhythm in second. Up on the outside there of in third place Cape Blanco, the Irish Star winner. They're followed next in the field by Harbinger, who's nicely uh, poised in fourth position. Further back, Daria Kana and Hume Zane, both at the tail of the field, as they race out of Swindley Bottom now, and still out in front as confront for Richard Mullen, setting a sensible pace and maybe increasing the tempo slightly as they start to pull uphill now by three lengths. To in second place, Cape Blanco has enjoyed a charmed run on the inside of Workforces in a perfect position, the favourite. A length and a half to Harbinger, sitting behind his stable mate, two lengths away Yum Zane and Daria Kana still at the tail as his six runner field pull up towards the half mile now and it's uh, on the inside it's work it's out in front confront followed then by workforce who's up on the outer pink cap of uh, Cape Blanco they're followed then by Harbinger then Daria Kana and Yum Zane now he's working hard on the favorite trying to get that extra uh, bit out of him now as they come around the home turn it's confront out in front by two and a half lengths now Cape Blanco first to go and trying to ease between them and does so as well as they round the turn so it's Confront who's now uh, starting to give way and Cape Blanco call on for an effort Workforce under the weapon, Harbinger poised on the outside has raised up very quickly inside the two Harbinger has raced past the derby winner and the Irish derby winner he's taken it up the older horse Harbinger's gone four legs in front further back then is Cape Blanco as they race up now with half a foot on left to go and Harbinger He's roaring right away. He's going to win by a street. Harbinger wins the King George by the best part of 10 lengths. In second, Cape Blanco. In third, then, is Hume Zane, followed by Daria Kana, Workforce, and Confront. As they cross the line, Harbinger is the winner. And it'll be very interesting to hear the judges' official distance. It looked like 10 lengths. How surprised, well, surprise, but how good a performance this looks. This looks absolutely, an absolutely performance. He's propelled himself into being one of the best horses in the whole wild world, this Dancilly Colt. Uh, so you would have to say he's going to win the Art de Triumph. For Michael Stout, it's his fifth winner of this race. And he goes to the top of the tree for Olivier Pellier, his first. And for that whole big team there, a big cheer for High Clear Racing because they 